Wentworth. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. Will the Treasurer outline to the House how yesterday's national accounts figures show the resilience of the Australian economy during this global COVID-19 recession? The Treasurer has the call. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the Please, member for Wentworth for his question and acknowledge his experience as a distinguished diplomat for Australia abroad before coming to this place, Mr. Speaker, as our ambassador to Israel. Now, Mr. Speaker, the national accounts numbers yesterday revealed the real devastation that COVID-19 is having on the Australian economy. At a 7% fall for the June quarter, that is the single largest fall that Australia has ever recorded. Now, the single biggest contributor to that fall in GDP over the June quarter was the fall in consumption. We saw a reduction in consumption on transport services of 80 per cent. We saw a reduction in consumption at hotels, at cafes and restaurants of 60 per cent. The reason behind this fall was the health restrictions that were put in, put in place as a result of COVID-19. The Australian way of life was effectively put on hold through that June quarter. Mr Speaker, this is the impact of a once-in-a-century pandemic on our national economy. Mr. Speaker. Now, in response to COVID-19, we have put in place a comprehensive range of measures, some $314 billion of support from the JobKeeper program to the cash flow boost to $750 payments to millions of Australians who are on income support to the $550 coronavirus supplement to billions of dollars of incentives to business to invest to invest in plant and machinery and other equipment Mr Speaker to help them be more productive as a business and indeed to help us be more productive as a nation now, the fact that we went into this crisis from a position of economic strength gave us the financial firepower to respond. <clears throat> but the impact of our $314 billion worth of measures have also seen 700,000 jobs being saved. Mr. Speaker. That is the advice of Treasury that the unemployment rate would be five percentage points higher today but for the economic support that we have provided as a country. And also the fact that, as a result of this economic support, the severity of the fall in GDP that we saw yesterday was not as great as we've seen in other countries. But the road ahead will be hard, the road ahead will be long, but there is hope for the future. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, and the Morrison government is absolutely committed to getting Australians back to work. 